Good morning, my dear children. Today, we are going to learn grammar part. But before I should start this grammar part, I want to tell you, I want to ask also. Children, in history as well as in science, we have learnt one thing. Human beings are also an animals. How is it possible? All people, they are also an animals. Can you guess? Then we think it's very different than the other animal. Man is very intelligent animal. Do you know this? Yes, children. Then why man is only the animal who is an intelligent? Can you guess it? Yes. Children, man is the animal who can express his own attitude, his own opinion, his own expressions. And because of that, other can understand him. Other can support him. Understood children? Means what? Means language is the main source which is very useful to make difference between man and the other animal. And because of that children, today we are going to learn the topic name is sentences. Okay children, what is the name of topic? Sentences. See children, when you were very small, like a one and a half hour, one and a half year old, otherwise two years old. When you were one and a half years old or two years old, that time you don't know how to talk. You listened, you listened many more things. And then you uttered little, little sounds like ah, mama, papa, in this way. When you entered in the nursery class that time you have known only sounds like A, B, C, O, B, like that. Isn't it my dear? Now you are able to express your opinion. You are able to express your attitudes. Everything you can express with each other. Why? Because of sentences. So children, today we will learn exactly what is the meaning of sentences. See children, the meaning of sentences is features I have written here. A sentence consists of a group of words. Sentence means what? Sentence, it is the group of words. That makes complete sense. It's very important children. That is the group of words which makes complete sense. Means whenever we will listen, we can understand immediately what that person is going to share with us. Understood children? And because of that, it has a complete sense. It has a verb. In that sentence, in each type of sentence, there will be one verb. Understood children? Verb means what? Verb means action word. Means in each sentence, there will be action words are present always. Number three, it begins with a capital letter. Whenever we are starting any sentence that time, that sentence begins with a capital letter. The words in a sentence are written in proper order means whichever sentence we will see that will be in proper order why i am going to market i can't say market i am going to in this way i can't say why because if systematically or manually i will not speak then you can't understand exactly what i am saying if I say, I eat a mango every day, I eat a mango every day, instead of that, a mango eat I every day, it's very wrong sentence, isn't it children, means subset plus verb plus object plus another part of the sentence will be there, some of the time in place after the subject, adverbs and some other time adjectives will be present that I will tell you afterwards. But right now, keep in your mind, there is manually or sequentially we are talking. And the form of sentence is subject plus verb plus object. Understood children? Sentence which is a group of words. Right now I said you, I got today... Five marks in English exam. This is also sentence. 
I am very happy today. This is also sentence. Understood children? Then what is the meaning of phrase? Because that is also group of words. Sentences, they are also group of groups of words. Then what is the meaning of phrase? See children, the phrase, that is also a group of words. That makes sense but not complete sense. It's called a phrase. What I am saying to children? That is the phrase that is also group of words. It has sense but it does not have any type of complete sense. Whenever complete sense will be present, that is the sentence. Whenever manually or sequentially we are talking, that is known as a sentence which ends, which ends with full stop, which ends with question mark which ends with exclamation mark are you getting children what is the difference between sentence and phrase phrase that is also group of word sentence that is also group of word but it has sense it has complete sense it has verb it does not have verb like today i have full my pocket Today, my pocket is full of red roses. Full of, this is phrase. Full of, today, my pocket is with full of red roses. With full of, this is the phrase. In spite of starting late, we will go to home. In spite of, this is also phrase. Which makes sense, but it does not have complete sense. Okay, so sentence means what? Sentence means a sentence consists of a group of words that makes complete sense. It has a verb. It begins with a capital letters. The words in the sentence are written in proper order as well as sentences are ended with. Sentences are ended with full stop, question mark and exclamation mark. Let's see. What are the kinds of sentences? We'll see. See children, I have written on the board kinds of sentences. Number one, assertive sentences or declarative sentences. Second number, imperative sentences. Third number, interrogative sentences. And fourth one, exclamatory sentences. Now one by one, I want to explain what is the meaning of assertive or declarative sentences. Whenever we want to say something, we want to state something, that time we are always using assertive sentences. Whenever we want to say something or state something, that time we are using assertive or declarative sentences. In this sentence, there are two parts. Number one, affirmative sentence and number two, negative sentences. It means what? Whenever we are using in the sentence, sentence no, not, never. In this way, whenever we are using any word, from that we will get negativity. These sentences are known as negative declarative sentence. Are you getting me? Whenever we will see in the sentence, no, not, never, that like negativity will come from the sentence that time that sentences are called as a negative declarative sentence. And whenever there will be like that, no, not, never, these like words will be not present in the sentence that time that sentences are known as a affirmative declarative sentences. Means, means he felt very sad about his friend. He felt very sad about his friend. Here, affirmative declarative sentence we have seen. Second number sentence children, he did not care about me. He did not care about me. Here is did not, means not is present in the sentence. So, this sentence is known as a negative declarative sentence. Understood children? Otherwise, see, today I am going to school. Today, I am going to school. Here, I am stating something. So, this is also declarative sentence, but affirmative declarative sentence. Instead of that, if I will use, today, I am not going to school. 
today i am not going to school in this sentence i have used not and because of that this sentence is known as a negative declarative sentence understood children what is the meaning of assertive or declarative sentence structure subject plus verb plus object got it now we'll move further second number sentence imperative sentence what is the second number sentence imperative sentence what is the meaning of imperative sentence whenever we are requesting to someone whenever we order to someone otherwise we offer advice to someone that time we are using imperative sentences and you know children in declarative sentence and imperative sentence there is one common thing which is that that is children declarative sentences are ended always ended with full stop and even imperative sentences are also ended with full stop okay see children whenever we are requesting to someone ordering suggesting something otherwise whenever we are offering advice to someone that time we are using imperative sentence like please pass me that salt please pass me that salt here i am requesting to someone so this sentence is known as a imperative sentence come on go there here i am ordering to someone so order is present these sentences are also known as imperative sentence understood you take medicine twice a day you take medicine twice a day here i suggested to someone and because of that this sentence is also known as imperative sentence and as i told you in declarative sentence and imperative sentence there is one common thing both sentences are ended with full stop understood let's see third one type of sentence interrogative sentence what is that interrogative sentence whenever we want to question someone whenever we want to question someone that time we are using interrogative sentences and interrogative sentences are always ended with question mark with which mark children question mark interrogative sentences are always children interrogative sentences are always ended with question mark whenever we want to question someone that time we are using interrogative sentences understood children what is the meaning of interrogative sentence and that is ended with question mark like what are you doing are you okay are you listening me these like sentences are known as interrogative sentences now last one and fourth one that is exclamatory sentences what is that exclamatory sentences and in that type of sentence whenever we want to communicate with someone with full of energy with full of strong feelings whenever we want to communicate with someone with strong feelings with full of energy that will be about joy that will be about sadness admiration wonder and shock whenever we want to communicate with someone with full of energy with strong full feelings and that will be for admiration for joy for sadness feelings otherwise shock and wonder for that purpose we are using that sentence name is exclamatory sentence if i am very happy to see something wow what a great surprise are he had lost his life in this way I means some of the time unhappy feelings also are strong and some of the time joy feelings are also strong both the strong feelings whenever we want to communicate we are taking help of exclamatory sentences and you know children exclamatory sentences are always ended with exclamation mark exclamatory sentences are always ended with exclamation mark then children how exclamation mark is present we'll see see children full stop means what see this is the full stop this is the full stop interrogative sentence it ends with question mark 
an exclamatory sentence which ends with exclamation mark understood children what i want to tell assertive or declarative sentence ends with full stop imperative sentences are ended with full stop interrogative sentence it ends with question mark and exclamatory sentence ends with exclamation mark did you understand what i want to share with you today we have learned lesson sentences and in that sentences lesson we have learned features of sentences as well as what is the difference between sentence and phrase along with these kinds of sentences what we have learned today children kinds of sentences and in that we have learned four kinds of sentences number one declarative sentence when we want to state something that time we are using declarative sentence which ends with full stop imperative sentence whenever we want to request offer advice otherwise order is necessary that time we are using imperative sentence and it ends with also full stop full stop interrogative sentence whenever we want to ask question to someone that time we are using interrogative sentence which ends with question mark exclamatory sentence whenever we want to communicate with full of energy with strong feelings that time we are using exclamation exclamatory sentence and it ends with exclamation mark i hope you understood exactly how many types of sentences and what is the difference between that i hope you have understood today sentences sentences feature difference between sentence and phrase as well as kinds of sentences so find some notes from textbook and then read again and again bye children have a nice day